Hi, in this video, I am going to talk about models, routes, and controllers. Firstly, I am going to make controller for uh, I am going to make controller for uh, students table and also models for students table. For that, I am writing php artisan make model for student then i am going to make controller for student table for that php artisan make controller then student controller I successfully created controller and model here this is student controller and this is student model in here model we used to uh, collaborate with database table we can update something into the database we can save something into the database we can search from database table and also we can delete row from database table model is connected to the database table in here this student model is directly connected to the this database students table okay because we connect this database here now i am going to write the route for that i write route i am going to write git route then uh, the url is I am going to add this new student. Okay, then it is I linked that is I linked to student controller at new function okay then i am going to create a function inside this student control inside this class that is public function then new parameters as request and inside that request the variable name this is our function now I am going to check the uh, this uh, function is working or not correctly then for that uh, I am write echo then test okay then I am going to web the URL is new student then I open the browser, then localhost Laravel tutorial public, then after that I add this URL. Then it is work correctly. Okay. Then uh, in here I plug the route and the uh, this controller function. Then I am going to connect the model. For that, I use this model. Uh, I use this student model. For that, firstly, I import this use app student. After that, I make a student object. For that, student new student. Okay. 
in here if we go to the database migration there is database table columns if we go to the student table of the database there is two table column one is name other is description here I add student object. I'm in here. I make the student object in in object. I add uh, name uh, attribute as uh, name attribute as n. Then I add the the description I add for description attribute as uh, the mark. After that, I add student save. After that, I can echo something just like an student is saved successfully. Then I will run this. I will this. I will run this get route. Then an student is saved successfully. Then in the database student table, this row is added after all there is timestamp 2 i think this video you will help to understand the connection of route and also controller and model thank you